All right, my friends, today I'm gonna to be showing you how Apple's Magic Trackpad 2 works on one of those classic Mac Pros. That's right, 2010 Mac Pro is back. Ooh. Is that it? Oh, cool. So you get the pad, you get USB, and you get a nice piece of paper. It looks nice. Yeah, boy. Pretty light. Feels nice. Nothing happens when you click. I love Apple's packaging. It'll always feel so luxurious. Officially, the Mac Pro has a Bluetooth 2.1 receiver and the Magic Trackpad needs a 4.0 and above. So, on paper, they should not work. But, you know, after using a MacBook Pro, on a Mac Pro, I really wanted to use the trackpad, so I went ahead and bought it anyway, and I wanted to show you if it works or if it doesn't work. And good news, it actually, it works. It works really well. I know it's 2.1 and 4.0, all that incompatibility, but yeah. Yeah, he works. I say still working on Bluetooth. That's good. So it also works on older Bluetooth devices. All right, so in system preferences, trackpad, you get all the typical settings. I tend to turn tap to click on because it means I can just <laughs> tap to click. It's, I find it really good on my joints because my fingers are getting tired and old. I'm getting a bit of arthritis from overusing the trackpad. So I do recommend tapping, not actually pushing down and clicking. Okay, next up, scroll and zoom in, out, shake all about, smart zoom, a bit of fun. Good stuff you can do with gestures, more gestures, pretty much everything's enabled. You can swipe up with four fingers, all that stuff. I'm going to show you the key, the pierce, the resistance, the settings you need. And go back to system preferences. You got to go into access. Accessibility, yeah, this one's hidden away. Scroll all the way to the bottom, mouse and trackpad. You click on trackpad options, and there you have it. Enable dragging. Look at that, enable with drag lock. And what that means is, if you double tap, you can move things, and it's just so useful. You don't need to click and drag, you can just double tap, and that's it, done. Click OK, you're happy. The world is now a better place because your hands are free. Freedom! It's a good experience, and if you haven't used one of those magic trackpads before, it is uh, really fun because when you turn it on, you feel the vibration, but when you turn it off, it's just rock solid. It's, it's, there's no actual movement there. I want to turn it off. Nothing. So that was a fun experience going on. But there is one gotcha, and that gotcha is we're trying to use it in boot camp. I just wanted to show you the experience of using one of these trackpads in Windows, so I'm going to turn it on. And I'm now I'm going to go add Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Got my trackpad. It's connecting. And boom, I can use it. Now let me turn it off. Turn it on again. Every single time you restart Windows, you lose connection to your trackpad. It doesn't reconnect. It says it's connected, but it actually isn't. This is why this uh, is a flawed device. The drivers are not good. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure it out. If you guys could figure it out, let me know, but I couldn't figure it out. Basically, every single time you restart Windows or you uh, turn off the magic trackpad, you have to unpair it and repair it. It doesn't just work out of the box as, as it does on 
the Mac OS. But, you know, if you're not using Windows and, you know, what, what do you need a trackpad for in Windows anyway? The drivers are just, uh, they're not that good. So, if you're thinking of getting one of those, they do work on a Mac Pro. And I hope you have a good 2019. That's right, we're bringing that classic Mac Pro back. And hopefully this 2019 is the year for the new updated $10,000, $20,000 Mac Pro. So start saving up. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Vamos. So, a cool alternative to getting a magic mouse is if you've got a laptop laying around. I don't know, everyone might not have a laptop, but you can install an app called, uh, where is it, Share Mouse, and it's free. Obviously, you can get license free if you're a business, but look at that, I'm using a trackpad across monitors, and I'm using the mouse connected to Windows across monitors too and it's really cool we've got a little mouse sort of system whoa i'm on the internet i'm i'm, I'm using a mac to control windows what's up um, wait, wait 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 i'm using a macbook pro's keyboard to control windows on a mac pro <laughs>